How you doing folks? Welcome back to Irish Scottish Fishing and Fly Tying. So today I'm just going to show you how to tie up the how I tie up a red ribbed cormorant. Now just moving on, carrying on from my other videos, like these are these are all my cormorant patterns that I'm tying up are, are uh, cormorants that I have in my box that I know that catch fish. So this is uh, my red rib cormorant. So just to get started, we'll, we'll move on. So. So the hook I'm going to be using for this is as normal, which is a B175 and a size 10, camison. And get that in there nice and tight. So all you want to do now is just start your thread. And for the thread I'm using 80 uni thread in red. So a couple of turns to start. Just get them on. Come in with my stanley. Try not to cut myself. And all you want to do now is bring in your uh, red holographic. So my red holographic this time is small. I like using, when I tie this pattern, I like using it in a small pattern. It's called a small holographic. Just work your way down the hook. Right. Purpose of this, try and keep the red holographic on the bottom of the hook. Just like that. And then all I do now is, is just try and run a nice little layer of thread up. Don't worry about touching turns, it's just... A nice layer of thread to be laying my peacock curl onto. Just take your time working your way down it. And then working back. There we go. That should be fine. Just stop your thread there. Then from a peacock curl, this time I'll be using natural peacock. I'll be using two strands. I never talked about it in my last video, but I'm just going to show you. So there's two strands there. So all I do is I just cut and just cut off to cut off uh, about an inch and a half. There you go. That's it. And then all I do now is just tie it on. You can tie it straight in or you can have it a little bit up the hook so it just builds the body up a bit. That's the way I like to tie it in. A couple of turns there just to start it up and then just tidy it up. Just like that. Again, for all my peacock curl cormorants or if you're doing any of the like dial backs, just take your time with your peacock curl because this stuff is easy snapped and when you're winding it up the hook does uh does as a habit of just snapping so just take your time with it nice touch and turns just working it up as you can see there the body's building up nicely now when i tie these in cormorants uh, i don't like to have too big a body but it's up to yourself like when i tie this in a size 12 i use one strand but you can use four strands use three strands but i just like the way it sits with two it seems to does all right for me. So, as I say, I like this pattern. It, uh, it's one of my favorite cormorant patterns, to be honest. Okay, a couple of turns there just to tighten in. What you want to do now is holding the bobbin weight, keeping tension, it's just snapping off. A couple of tight turns, work it up. Now you want to come up with your red holographic rib. This is the small stuff, so I generally get about maybe five. Start your turn to start with. So there's one turn. Again, just taking your time. Two. Bobbin's annoying me, so I'm going to move it out of the way. Three. Four. Five. Oh, and I've got six out of this one. So that's when all me locking off all my holographic. Come up here, Fred. Two turns over the top. Pull back in the holographic. That's it. Then come in and snip. Now for your marabou. Just a normal standard black marabou. So like all my marabous, when I'm putting in a cormorant pattern, I like to use an inch. An inch of fiber. I'll show you it now. Once I get it up. So I'll just show you that I prep it like that. So that's about how much I have. It's a bit less than that, so I'm just gonna 
do a bit more. There we go. There's the inch prepped. So all I do now is just work the fibres in my hand. Just getting all the loose fibres out. Just taking my time. Put a couple of twists in just to work it out. And all I do then is come in with do one cut to start with. And then start to pull all the fibres out. This gives you a nice tighter, this gives you a tighter head and it helps you tie it in better. I think I, I don't like such a bulky head when I'm tying in cormorants and come in with your second cut. Get rid of that, bit of fiber, and then a moisten. And all I do then is just come in. A couple of light turns to start with, make sure I'm happy with the position of the wing. That's good. And a couple of tight turns. And then you want to come in with your jungle cock eyes. All right. I've bought myself a good cape, so I've got quite good jungle cock eyes at the bottom of this cape. Or the bottom of the cape, but I've already prepped my jungle cock eyes. Used this little clip to hold them. So all I do then is I come in with my jungle cock, and I want the jungle cock kind of going up the feller, up the up the wing. So hold that in place. Two light turns. Happy with that. Rotate the hook. Come on with my second gungo cock filler. Hold it. This one needs a little bit of a pull, it's a bit too long. Check the position. go pinch it's not too hard lay a bit of thread on pull these fibers back back down the hook pull the threads in front just to tighten off and all you want to do now is just come in and snip them there we go that's one snipped Taking your time on this so you don't you don't want to catch any of your any of your jungle cock you've just took time putting in. I'm just gonna rotate it back around straight again. So I'm gonna do now is just work up the head. Taking your time. Getting rid of any of them tail fibers that were left over from the jungle cock. Like the more the, the more time you spend on this, the better the head's gonna be. Take it around, make sure I'm good. There we go. Come on, my whip finish till three turn whip finish twice. So, one, two, three. Go ahead. That's the pattern almost finished. Come in and cut it. And to cut your wing, all you just want to do is work the fibers back, pinch by the back of the hook, and pull. And all I do then is I wet my foot, I wet my hands, and then run the wing because that's the way the wing's going to be fishing in the water. So that's good. And then come in with me uh Vineyard spine head cement, just to uh, put a nice layer, nice layer on the head. Again, I do two coats, so I'll put one coat on. Now, put it on my drying stand, and then I'll put a second coat on, and that's the fly finished. As I say, when you put this on, don't worry too much about the eye. You can clear this when you after after it's all dried. So that's the pattern finished. That's my red rib cormorant. I do tie it. I do tie this pattern in a size 12. Works really well in a size 12. 
and I also tie it in a size 10 booby, no sorry, size 12 booby, uh, size 12 booby and a size 10 booby, obviously without the jungle cock. Uh, these are good patterns, as I say, if you like my videos, uh, if you can subscribe and continue watching and there will be fishing videos coming up, and as I say, I'm just working my way through the cormorant box. If you want a full list of materials, please check out the description beneath. And uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll be out in the water soon. So thanks for watching, folks. See you later.